Thank you, Ray. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to New York City, the Big Apple, for this press conference kickoff, Spence Jr. versus Crawford. I am Brian Custer, host of Showtime Championship Boxing, and man, what a year it has been for the sport. What a year has it been for Showtime Championship Boxing and Showtime Pay-Per-View. You know, our motto is deliver to the fight fans what they want. The best fighting the best. We started the year with Benavidez Plant. We had Tate Davis and Ryan Garcia, and now the super fight. The best fighting the best. Errol Spence Jr. taking on Terrence Bud Crawford. It is one of the most anticipated fights of this decade. It's a super fight, champion versus champion. Both of them unbeaten. And the key is both fighters are in their prime. The winner, not only making history as the first undisputed welterweight champion in this four belt era, but also walks away with the crown as boxing's pound for pound best fighter in the world. The fight is Saturday, July 29th, Showtime pay-per-view from T-Mobile Arena in the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. It is one of those era-defining type fights. And I'm talking in the spirit of Ali Frazier, Leonard Duran, Hagler Hearns, and of course Mayweather Pacquiao. It will, without a doubt, enhance the legacy of these two elite world champions. And the event is being brought to you by Premier Boxing Champions. It's being promoted by Man Down Promotions and Errol Spence Jr. and by TBC Promotions, Terrence Bud Crawford Promotions and TGB Promotions as well. It goes without saying folks, this is the place you want to be in on July 29th in Las Vegas. You want to have a ticket to say, I was there. I saw when those two went at it. You can purchase your tickets through AXS.com. AXS.com. Here's the particulars. Terrence Bud Crawford, the WBO, welterweight champion. He's unbeaten. He's 39 and 0. He's got 30 knockouts. Taking on the truth, Errol Spence Jr., the unified WBA, WBC, IBF welterweight champion of the world, unbeaten as well. 28 victories, no defeats, and 22 knockouts. Together, these men have an astounding combined record of 67 wins, no losses, and 52 knockouts. AXS.com is where you get your tickets. Let me bring to the podium now one of the promoters of this fight. He's the president of TGB Promotions, Tom Brown. Thank you, Brian. Good morning, everyone. I'll make this uh, quick today so we can get to what we're all really here for today, and that's to hear from these two great world champions. But like I said yesterday at the LA press conference, this fight really is as big as it gets. We have the two best fighters in the world, both undisputed world champions in a generational fight. We haven't seen fighters with skills like this at 147 pounds since Leonard and Hearns. Now Terrence Crawford became the undisputed champion at 140 pounds back in 2017. And now he's got a chance at history by becoming the first two weight division, undisputed world champion. But one thing's for sure, the winner of this fight will be the undisputed pound for pound king of boxing. Thank you. Coming to the podium now, the man who's gonna give you more details about the fight, all of the programming that will surround the televised portion of the pay-per-view of the evening. Uh, he's the president of Showtime Sports, Steven Espinoza. 
Thanks, Brian. Uh, I agree wholeheartedly. I don't think there's any real discussion to be had. It's been a fantastic year for Showtime Boxing. Big fights, meaningful matchups week after week, together with our partners, Premier Boxing Champions and TGB Promotions. We put on 17 marquee events through July. Three dates in February, three dates in March, April, June, and July, giving the boxing fans exactly what they're looking for. Coming up this weekend, we've got Tim Zhu on the schedule. Looking forward for July, we've got Boots Ennis and Frank Martin headlining. In the middle of this great run of fights, this industry leading schedule, we've got this fight, the one that boxing fans have been waiting for, a mega event. I've described this as the perfect fight. And I think it is absolutely true, that's no exaggeration. We have every element the boxing fan would want. Two of the best, most skilled fighters in the sport, both of them with aggressive, fan-friendly, all-action styles, knockout power. It's an evenly matched fight. You know, at various points over the last few weeks, the odds have swung in favor of both Spence and Crawford. There's high stakes, there's history, there's legacy, there's overcoming adversity, there's personal drama, there's a rivalry. Long and short of it, this is everything a boxing fan could wish for at this point. Errol won his first title in 2017 with the 11th round knockout of Kel Brook. He's had six successful title defenses against outstanding competition. Lamont Peterson, Mikey Garcia, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Jordanis Ugas, among others. One of the strongest resumes in the sport. Terrence Crawford won his welterweight title in 2018. Also made six successful title defenses, all of them by KO or TKO. And in fact, Terrence has stopped his last 10 opponents in a row. And now he's looking to become the undisputed champion in a second division. But really, don't take my word for it about what this fight is about. Let me give you how you guys, the media, have described this. A matchup that will decide supremacy. The biggest event the sport can offer. A matchup to perfection. The most exciting fight this decade. An opportunity to become a superstar. That's what's at stake July 29th. It all kicks off with the first episode of All Access, Saturday, July 8th. Second episode, Saturday, July 15th. And of course, the pay-per-view, Saturday, July 29th, at special time, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Thank you. It's time to hear from the camps. First, let me acknowledge on the Crawford side, Bud Crawford's assistant trainer, Isao Diegas. Good to have you, my friend. Coming to the podium now is the head trainer for the WBO world champion. This man is the co-owner of BNB Boxing Academy in Nebraska. World-renowned trainer, he is Brian Bomack McIntyre. Oh, what's up, everybody? Glad everybody came out to uh, to the press conference to support the uh, this big, big fight coming up. Thanks, Showtime, Stephen Espinosa. PBC, uh, Earl Spence, Derek James. I especially want to thank my man, the champ, Bud Crawford, for putting his foot on the pedal, for making this fight happen. So I really ain't got too much to say that more than what I said yesterday. But I will tell you this. This is how the fight gonna go. The fight is gonna be tough. It's gonna be real tough. Earl's a good ass fighter. And I took my hat to him for what he had accomplished in his boxing career. I took my hat to you, Derek, man, for doing a good job with your fighters. The first couple rounds are gonna be real tough. 
but then we're gonna start walking away with the fight, like we always do. Like my man said, the bud didn't stop the last 10 opponents. Just maybe, Errol gonna be number 11. So listen, y'all tune in, July 29th. Get your tickets. Y'all gonna miss something if y'all don't attend. Y'all gonna miss one of the most spectacular performances that you ever seen come out of Bud Crawford. Thank you, Bo Mack. Now from the Spence side, let me acknowledge as, uh, as well, the father of Errol Spence Jr., Mr. Errol Spence Sr. See you there, good to see you, sir. Jordan Isom as well here. Let me bring to the podium now, he's the trainer of the Unified Champion. 2017 Ring Magazine Trainer of the Year, 2019 Sports Illustrated Trainer of the Year, and also the 2022 Boxing Writers and ESPN Trainer of the Year. He's the owner of the World Class Boxing Gym in Dallas, Texas, Mr. Derek James. Very happy to be here. This is a very exciting event. I can't wait. I mean, I think it's something that everybody's been hoping to see, wanting to see. And now, it's not here, but the, everything is going on. Everybody's in camp. Can't wait for, to get it started because I know that Crawford's coming on with his A game, and Earl is going to be on his A game. You're going to see a phenomenal competition. And for me, I'm really kind of tired of talking about it. It's like it's work time. So I can't wait, and I know it's going to be a phenomenal night of boxing. I'm going to see Errol Spence shine. As he says, the thing that really gets me going is that one-sided ass-kicking that he normally puts on. And yeah, we're fighting a phenomenal fighter. At the same time, we're going to be who we are. Errol's not going to change. He's going to put the pressure, break him down. Gonna win the fight. No different than anything else, anybody else. Even though this is the best and most accomplished boxer in boxing, it's Terrence Crawford. 135 pound champ, 140 undisputed champ, and 147 WBO champ. But all that said, that's beautiful because we are here now, four guys standing on the podium, and everybody watching. They want to come out and see a masterpiece and Errol Spence put together another phenomenal victory over another, another tough and very um, vicious and deadly fighter. It's all about being successful. That's what it's all about. And that's what you'll see on July 29th. Errol Spence becoming the undisputed champion of the world, just like the first day when he walked into professional boxing, exactly what he said he wanted to do. And that is exactly what he'll be July 29th is the first ever in this era for belt undisputed champ. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Listen, you came here to hear from the fighters. Let's get right to it. Come to the podium now. Is a man who's got a 76% knockout percentage. Moved up to welterweight. You heard it. He has stopped every man he has faced since he's been at 147. Folks, this man is the former undisputed super lightweight champion of the world. He was the 2014 fighter of the year. He is the current WBO welterweight champion of the world. Mr. Terrence Bud Crawford. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Let me say that again. What's up, everybody? That's what I'm talking about. I gotta be excited for this fight. This is a fight that's been marinating for years. Like I said before, I'm gonna say it again. This is, this is greatness. This is definitely greatness that you guys will be witnessing. 
July 29th. Uh, I've been preparing my whole life for this moment right here. Moments like these, they don't come often. And this is my time. Like I said before, this is my time. This is the Terrence Crawford era. Ain't no holding me back. Not era, not there, nobody stopping me from accomplishing what I want to accomplish July 29th. A lot of people say why it took so long. Doesn't matter, we're here now. And July 29th, I can assure you, I can promise you, y'all gonna walk away and y'all gonna say, that kid is special. And y'all gonna mark me as one of the greatest of all time. Right along with the Floyds, the Ollies, the Frasers. And y'all can sit there and say, oh, well, you ain't fought nobody. And my reply to that is, I guess Errol is just another nobody that I ain't fought, that I fought. Thank you, champ. <laughs> Come to the podium. This man has a 78% knockout percentage. Six of his last seven opponents former world champions. Three of them were current world champions. He took away their straps. He is the unified welterweight champion of the world. He's known as the truth. Big fish, man down, Errol Spence Jr. You, you. How are everybody doing today? All right. Yeah. I feel like this is the biggest Fighting boxing. If you look at Terrence style, look at my style, you already know if you know our mentalities. He's not gonna wanna break. I'm definitely not gonna wanna break. But I feel like somebody got to break come fight night. And we need all y'all to support us because I mean, we gotta show these people in suits, we gotta show the other fighters that there is a reward in taking risks. So the, fight, the best got to fight the best, and we got to show people that, especially people in suits and these other boxes, that you fight the best, it's a reward for that. You know, And um, I'm just grateful to being here, man. Very blessed for this opportunity to be the first ever undisputed welterweight champion of the world and fighting a great fighter like Terrence Crawford. I'm ready to put on a great show, a great performance, and show people how great I am and show people why I will be one of the best welterweights ever of all time. I'm telling you, don't, do not want to miss this fight. This is going to be a great fight. I'm going to put on a great show. I'm going to show everybody why I be breaking people. Make sure y'all tune in July 29th. It's going to be another man down in this strap season time. Thank you, champ. Let's talk. And let's talk about this fight. Let's start with the trainers. Bomack, you said without a doubt, your guy is gonna win on July 29th. Enlighten the people. Tell us why you believe Terrence Bud Crawford is gonna win this fight and you believe a stoppage. Brian. <clears throat> I want to ask you a question sure. and everybody else out there. What beats ready? What beat ready? What beats ready? Stay ready. Been there and back. <laughs> We've been there and back. We've been under undisputed champion before. We've been in the position before. So this is ain't nothing new to us. We just uh, being more prepared because we know Errol's a good fighter. But we've been there. We've been in these lights before. Now, PBC, I commend them for getting Errol to this point. But we had to scrape through the dirt to get to Undisputed at 140. We had to scrape through 147 to get to this point. So we was ready 10, 11 fights ago. We just going through the motions to pick up those three straps that he got over there in the lineal title. This is why I know that Terrence will 
be victorious July 29th. Derek James, your rebuttal to that. Tell us why Errol Spence Jr. will be victorious July 29th. Well, Errol Spence will be victorious because of the way he was brought up. He was brought up to be in this in this in the space that he's in because of the way he was developed. With each opposition being better and better and better and better. It wasn't like beating guys you were supposed to beat, beating guys everybody knew you were gonna beat. So at this point every fight he's fought was a step towards this day, this night. July 29th, that's what it was all about. From from him saying he wanted to be the undisputed champ of the world when he started to every step that Al and uh, TGB, Sylvia Brad, every step they took towards Arrow being the man that he is, facing the tough opposition, having building more depth. Because this is like, we talk about skill, both fighters are skill, this fight is about depth. Who can that endure the tough adversity that these fights you want to put them into, and at the same time, somebody's faced these things, and some people haven't faced these things. And like what I'll say is that depth is the key. Depth is what the thing is going to push you through when you're tired and beat. How much more pain can you endure? The pain of being unsuccessful is far more worse than the pain it takes to be successful. So we push you through the pain, we're going to be successful. And that's why he'll be champion, again, undisputed champ on July 29th because of everything he went through to get to this particular point. But what does the victory on July 29th mean to you specifically, especially coming against Errol Spence Jr.? Well, a victory July 29th for me will mean everything for me and my career to date. Being that a lot of people doubt me, and that's where I that's when I rise to the occasion, when I got all the odds stacked against me. Errol's a tremendous fighter. Like I told everybody before, I'm a fan, but it's just business. I know I can beat him. I feel I can beat him. I see myself beating him. I visualized it numerous and numerous times before fighting Sean Porter. I told him, I said, listen, they only want to gauge me for error. I knew this time would be here, and I'm ready, more than ready. So when that time comes, July 29th, and my hand is ready, rose, and I'm the new undisputed welterweight champion of the world, all I'm going to say is I told you so. That's it. If I'm not mistaken, isn't it your mother's birthday as well? That's right. Did you promise her something? You know I ain't losing on my mama's birthday. <laughs> Aaron, same question to you. What does it mean to be victorious on the 29th? But more importantly, what does it mean to get that victory over Terrence Bud Crawford? It means everything. I mean, I feel like I done everything I said I was going to do. And now the only thing last thing to do is to beat Terrence Crawford. Yeah, he's a great fighter, has great ability, great willpower. But he's a great man too, but I'm a break him. And I'm gonna show everybody why I am the best fighter in boxing, period. And show everybody why I am the number one guy in boxing. Yeah, he's gonna come and fight, but I'm gonna break his will. I'm gonna break him mentally, physically, and just show people why I am a great fighter, despite what I've been to, the adversities and things like that. I always kept on the same path and to be the undisputed Westway champion of the world. That's been a lifelong dream of mine. It's something I've been wanting for a long time, something I've been clamoring over. And regardless of any situation, I always stayed the course and knew that this fight was gonna happen and that I will become victorious. Errol, let me follow up on that. Because listening to Bud, he says, listen, you may talk about his resume, but he's been undisputed before. So this is nothing new to him. Therefore, he's coming in, already been there at the pinnacle. This is new to you. Your response to that? 
I mean, it's cool, but I'm not the guy he fought to, be, to become undisputed. I'm not that guy. You know, I feel like that guy was not was not that good. Um, you know, Regis stopped him in the first round too. Two time, two time world champion. Regis stopped him in the first round too. Man, like who who that guy beat to be a two time world champion? He beat two champions. Who? Who? He, he beat. Troy Nosky and he beat R Ricky Burns, which was a three-time world champion. Troy, who? <laughs> Come on, now, man. Come on. And, man. and I think he went to Russia man, and beat him. On. And I think he went to Scotland and beat him. Then on, man. he tried to be great and come to Omaha and beat me. I don't think you fought nobody that was a two-time world champion. When he ever been tested, he got stopped. I don't think you was. You ever fought a champion that was two two way divisions, right? It it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. all, the, all the titles I took, I took okay. from the champion. So what you saying? Okay. Every title I took, Sean Porter. And he was champion, a one. He was a one time one way champion. It don't matter. I'm taking it. Okay. I'm taking it. Well, you got the opportunity. Like I said, to take you line them up. I'm gonna knock them down every time. It don't matter what happens. Personal life, whatever. Yeah. Hey man, give me him. You sure you want him? Yeah, that's easy work. Get this, him out of this here. ain't no easy hey, you work. Want right him? Here. Yeah. Oh, I know it's not easy work. Uh -huh. I definitely know it's not okay. easy work. Okay. Just I definitely sure. know that. Just make I ain't sure. that I ain't that naive. Uh -huh. I'm realistic. Okay. I love this I because it. one of the things you, you made when we were in LA, but you said, hey, look, this guy is so called the big fish, but I'm gutting him on July 29th. Talk to us about that. Well, you know, I like to go fishing. Everybody knows that. Those are my Man, that's cat. He's not catching me with no fishing pole. Hey, listen. <laughs> I'm a big man. He's not catching me with no fishing pole. What does it look like catching Moby Dick with a fucking hey. fishing pole? Uh, they all been caught before. Yeah, every not with no one, fishing pole. Every last one of them. And not July 29th, no he gonna be caught too. I got a big enough hook for him. Uh, I'm, already, I'm already willing to win. July 29th, I'm gonna put, put him on the bank. I'm gonna put him on the bank. I'm gonna gut him, and I'm gonna fillet him. Man, like I said, all right, we gonna we we gonna catch him. Well, well, matter of fact, we already caught him. We just reeling him in right now. And July 29th, that's when we gonna get him to the bank. Probably weigh him, you know, put him on a scale. You ain't got a scale, baby. Chop, chop his head off. <laughs> Cut him from you know the gut, the little butt up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Take the little vice grips. Pull the skin off. Take the little knife. It don't even sound good. Let me ask you it's this. Good. Let me ask you. Y'all like fish? How many of y'all like fish? I bet your pops like fish too. You like fish, don't you, pops? Come on, you can say you like fish. You know what I mean? Your son the big fish, so he loves fish too, you know? So so we gon' we gon' you know what I mean, we gon' we gon' we gon' give his pops a yeah, piece hey, of yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We you know we Jamaican, man. We smoke bud. I, 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 Hey, hey y'all get that new buzz strand. Hey, but you know the crazy part about it is, you know what I mean? Y'all do smoke bud in Jamaica. I forgot. But this ain't new that, this, ain't, this ain't no bud. This ain't no kind bud. You feel me? This ain't the bud that you just can buy on the streets. It's, that, it's that marinated bud that you hit one. Hit one puff, you might be seeing stars like how high. Just, just know. He talking about the whack. Come on, Rick. You are uh, victorious on the 29th. Is that Reggie? You will be. We don't smoke whack. The first, <laughs> first male, first male to be undisputed in two different weight divisions. Yes, yes. What does that mean to you? Well, it's gonna mean everything to me, July 29th, and I can. Guarantee you, July 29th, you're going to see a Terrence Crawford that you have never seen before. Mm. Everybody always asking me, is this the best Terrence Crawford? And I said, no, I got a lot to show. Earl may be that fighter to bring the best out of Terrence Crawford. We shall see. Earl, he said this is, he's going to show him the 29th, that this is the Bud Crawford era. What are you showing? on the 29th. Man, he can show, he can show what he want to show. 
you know, it, it might be his era after this fight. You know, after I beat him, you know, he might go on and, you know, win all the titles and go up the weight class, win some more titles and, you know, do what he do. But he's not winning July 29th. So he's going to go and stop that nonsense. What does it mean to you to be the first undisputed welterweight champion in this four belt era? It's great. I mean, it means everything. This is what, you know, we lace up the gloves for. This was we used to watch, you know, as an amateur. You know, I used to always watch the old school fights and, you know, just glam over and be like, man, one day I'm going to be in a fight like that. And um, I used to watch something called Legendary Nights from HBO where they're talking about Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearns. Not the fight, just the events that happened before the fight. And, showing the press conferences and the weigh-ins and showing the training camps and how it was. So, you know, I'm finally, I'm finally in the same scenario that this, the fights I used to watch back then. And it's just a great feeling, man, just to be in those shoes and, you know, seeing that and seeing everything coming to existence and knowing that I can be the first ever undisputed welterweight champion of the world. and. You know, despite all the disses and and the back and forth I go with Terrence Crawford, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna lie, there is a, you know, me sure it is a respect there, you know, for him. But all that comes out the door once it's fight night and before the bell ring, but once the bell ring, the respect definitely goes out the door and it's war time. It's time to fight, it's time to put on not only a great show, but it's time to prove everybody why I am a dominating fighter. Guys, I only really have one question for you. And this is for obviously the media here, people watching. Hell, they're streaming this in Times Square right now. So for all those people in New York City, all across the country, people spend their hard earned money, pay this pay-per-view, come out to Las Vegas. Terrence Bud Crawford, what can you guarantee they're gonna get on July 29th because Errol Spence Jr. says he's breaking your will that night. Mm. Well, that makes for a great fight. So July 29th, everybody, 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 if you ain't got a ticket, if you didn't get a chance to get a flight to Vegas, buy the pay-per-view. You got two young, hungry lions going head-to-head -head for the throne. Errol Spence is a tremendous fighter. I'm a great fighter. He's accomplished a lot at the welterweight division. I accomplished a lot in the sport of boxing as a whole. Um, this is a fight that everybody's been yearning for. And me and Errol coming together and making this fight for y'all, knowing the type of styles we both bring in to the table and the caliber of experience and technique that's goes forth into training and coming to put on a great performance for you guys. He's going to bring it. I'm going to bring it. He's going to try to break my will like he said he is. I'm going to try to break his face. So uh, that makes for a great, exciting fight. You know, uh, he's always in exciting fights. Me, myself, I'm always in exciting fights. And the best man will win July 29th by the pay-per-view. When you cut to the chase, you've stopped everybody you faced at 147. Do you stop Errol Spence Jr. on July 29th? If he get out of line, <laughs> if he get out of line, I swear to God, he gonna be the number 11. Errol Spence Jr., same question. For all those people coming out to Vegas, buying the pay-per-view, this man says, you get out of line, he's stopping you. July 29th, what can you guarantee these folks are gonna get on the 29th of July? Well, yeah, all right, no, I'm getting out of line. <laughs> I've, been, I've been getting out of line my whole life, so. <laughs> so it is what it is. I'm about say, to put you in your place. Hey, you, you're gonna have to try. You're gonna have to try, I guarantee you that. But like I say, man, y'all gotta come out and support this fight. You can come to the fight or order the fight, man. We, you know, we gotta support these fighters out here. Um, I, I'm gonna tell y'all stories out at LA Fitness and um, I was running 
And then the guy had stopped me. He was like, man, you know, I bought, you know, your high ass shirts. And, <laughs> and uh, he was just talking about how my, my shirts was, was high. And I was talking to him. We was just talk, chopping it up. And I was like, that's crazy. You complain about my shirt. But, you know, I'm sure if you, you go out, you go somewhere nice, you know, you'll buy a Louis Vuitton shirt for $800,000 and you now have not complain. And that same guy who owned Louis Vuitton and all, owned these high-end fashion places wouldn't even give you the time of day to even talk to you like I'm talking to you, you know what I'm saying, right now. So, I mean, I'm just asking everybody to show some, show some support and show people and show, you know, um, the business boxing people and, you know, everybody that, you know, that it is a reward in taking risks. You know, just like how you go to these basketball games, football games, and pay $20,000 to sit front row and get these seats and nobody's complaining. You know, support these support these fighters, man. Because this is how they earn their living. They, put, they literally putting their putting they life online to, to, to give y'all a great show. You know, they literally losing brain cells and, you know, could lose their life. For y'all, so you know, what I'm saying support it, support us, please. Come out to the fight, watch the fight. Everybody talk about this fight. These are two great fighters fighting each other. We bringing it back. This has been a great year for boxing, and for me, this is the best fight in boxing, especially style wise. So let's just everybody tune in, man. It's gonna be a great show on by me. I'm sure he gonna put on a great show and try to put on a great performance. But like I said, I'm the biggest. He ain't catching me with no damn fishing pole. I'm flipping his whole boat, I'm sinking him. <laughs> you better come with a, a submarine, the USR, China, everything. But like I said, man, I'm the biggest shark. I'm Moby Dick. I'm the king. Ain't nobody stop me. It's trash season, man down. Make sure y'all tune in. Y'all gonna see another great show, another performance. I did catch it. You saying man down on the 29th? Man down, strap me. I know the motto. Man down, strap season. Line them up. All that, man. Big fish. The biggest. Fish filet. Hey, man. Hey. Fish filet. Smoking on bud. Fish <laughs> There you have it. It is July 29th. It is the Put him in the dirt. <laughs> most anticipated fight of the year, Big really of this great. decade. It is Errol Spence Jr., Terrence Bud Crawford. Guys, let's get a face off. Let's put the belts. Yeah. Let's get us a face off.